Hey guys, welcome back. Today is the day going to the Autobahn. Another track day. This time only the north side is uh, of the track is open, which is about I don't know 1.6 half the distance where it used to be. Uh, the whole track is about 3.5 miles. This one's gonna be. I, I think it's 1.6. I'll double check. I managed to do everything. I just got the car back yesterday, had to finish the front uh, the brake cooling ducts. the track good thing I I took a uh, ratchet I had to these loosened up on me both sides not sure why I'm gonna have to keep rechecking them after each session let me show you the cars check this out Serious competition. It is a bit harder, but it's all good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm not gonna wait till till it's my turn. I'm just gonna mount the camera now. So next clip you'll see it's gonna be on the track. 
Okay, decided to do voiceover instead of writing stuff on the screen. This is the very first session, just started, just got on the track. And funny thing happened. Instead of uh, having us line up at the grid like we did last time I was here about a month ago, uh, they had us line up at the parking lot and get on the track straight from the parking lot. I didn't realize that that was the case. I thought we we're gonna kind of make a line on the parking lot and then they would have us line up at the grid again, kind of, and then go. So what happened was, the very first few seconds, I'm putting my seatbelt on, I'm turning on the camera, I didn't have one of my gloves on, because I was going to turn on my second camera, which is pointed at me, you're gonna see it later, on the second and third session. And the second camera that I have set up is my actual phone, touchscreen phone, which I use on a daily basis. And if I had my glove on, on my right hand, then I wouldn't be able to turn it on. So I was waiting, thinking, I'm going to have time to do all this while uh, what, lining up on the grid. But that wasn't the case. I was ready for the second and third session. Didn't really lose anything. This is the, f the very first session. Uh, this is only my second time on this track. First time only on the north side of the track. At this point I'm still learning learning the track, learning each each corner, when to brake, when to accelerate out of each turn, where the apex is. You know, I'm taking these turns too wide, I'm going in too fast. Just to be clear on the, the overtaking rules, you need you kind of need to get permission from the driver in front of you to overtake him. He needs to stick his arm out either to the and point either to the left or right and tell you if it's okay to pass either on his left or his right. You can't just technically you can't just uh, overpass like it's an actual race. Sometimes when it's obvious you you kind of uh, can, you know, kind of bend the rules a little bit. Uh, these guys, it's not their. This is the intermediate group. It's not their first time at a track, so they know the rules. They know what's going on. So I was making. Well, I was making quite a bit mistakes in the first session. As I get used to the track learn it, I get better with each lap, then it actually becomes more fun. The car handled beautifully, the new setup is great. With the suspension being softer, it's actually better, it actually handles better. And with the other uh, modifications that I've done, like the two-way rear differential, Two-way it being, it uh, locks up while accelerating and braking. The brakes were perfect. After the corner balancing, the weight ratio is 50-50, which means each corner of the car weighs the same. Each wheel, uh, if you were to put it on a scale, weighs the same, which is very good. These cars tend to be front-heavy and front heavy cars tend to give you understeer which means the front will slide more than the back with this 50 50 weight ratio setup and the two-way diff and that little mod that i've done the subframe the rear subframe lockdown bolts that made all the difference the car handles much better i actually felt the rear go loose on me a few times which is 
which is very good if you if, you know if I push it the rear end will come loose not the front end which is a bit more I'd say risky but it's faster and that's the whole point so now I'll talk about the mistakes that I'm making uh, during the first session here okay we just finished that long straight right turn another short straight those uh, signs on the left you just saw there the three two one those are your braking points it'd be hard to brake at the same spot without those signs you know you'd be looking at the grass or maybe a tree and try to break that way that'd be difficult so here we have another straight now I was just in fourth gear later on as I exit that corner a little bit faster I'm gonna begin to finish this straight in fifth gear another straight another left corner I think it was session number two where I lost the rear for a second or two now on this right corner I should be taking it a little bit more wide so I can and keep to the left so I can start accelerating much sooner so I gain more top speed at the end of this longest straight now as my balls grow bigger I will begin to break later and later right after that long straight third gear there out of that right turn fourth another right turn another left now I should be slowing down a bit and keep more to the left and again same kind of situation and accelerate start accelerating sooner so I gain more top speed at the end of this straight this was kind of tricky I should also be keeping a bit to the left and I missed that apex totally the one to the right there another straight breaking at mark 2 at the second sign or sign number 2 this is much better now see I went to the left and started except well I could accelerate a bit sooner I would end up more to the left but it wouldn't matter because I had the room during that whole straight to make it to the right side of the track in time before braking okay braking sign one mark one right turn nice apex left turn hit the apex right there now going too fast here should be more to the left and cut the right corner here again to get more speed at the end of this straight this may be the first time that I actually shifted to fifth gear was okay not impressed but okay breaking at mark 2 nice cut stay in the middle to the left don't need to hit the apex here because of this this kind of two turns combined or three turns combined together start accelerating as soon as I can should be braking at mark 2 third gear fourth braking at mark 1 right here nicely hit the apex had to slow down wait for this guy now obviously I'm faster because I caught up to him he should be waving me over at this point 
but whatever. I actually get a little bit frustrated here. Someone went off. See the dust on the left? Okay, I see I'm, I'm waiting for him to... I, should, I shouldn't wait. I should probably just go. Breaking again. Mark 2. Not too fast here, so I can stay to the left. Stay in the middle middle of the road more or less a bit left start accelerating again a bit too late I have all the room to the left so see before I was braking there at mark 4 now I'm beginning to brake at mark 3 went a bit too fast in that right corner I, I kept making the same mistake on this, I should be going slower, keeping more to the left so I can cut that right corner faster. I actually realized this when I was watching this video. So this is a nice entry, apex right there, nice exit, probably spot on. Alright, let's listen to that boxer engine.
exit of a corner is far more important than the entry. The sooner you start accelerating out of a corner, the more speed you're gonna gain. And there we go, checkered flag. So the last lap is a cooldown lap. And we're gonna get into the pits. Slash parking lot. So I'm gonna make three separate segments of this whole track day event since there is three sessions otherwise this video would be over an hour long my best lap in session one was one minute 15 seconds and a half 15 and a half seconds so next session we're gonna get a bit faster there's gonna be more overtaking going on and something goes wrong with the car that's all in the next video Thank you guys for watching, consider subscribing, and I'll see you soon.